It's Madden NFL 23, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Chicago Bears, and it comes your way next. Well, they say an early season snowstorm may be on deck in less than 48 hours, but today is picture perfect fall football weather. Crisp and cool at Soldier Field in the Windy City. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Chicago Bears. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. just starting training camp but here we are in October and off we go on EA Sports from the 10 and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come second year pro Justin Fields leading the way Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season taking hits and being forced to run for it behind a porous offensive line but he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several offseason changes in Chicago should help get Fields some help in year two. Fields going to throw right away. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. First carry now for David Montgomery. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. From the gun, here's Fields. And that will be incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is fielded at the 27. Fights through him. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. As Seattle's offense comes onto the field, we'll see a 10-year veteran under center. Guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013, Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And a nice gain of 21 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Hector, Hector, Hector. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And now look at this. Big game by Fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they're going to take over right there at the 22. week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. they 
They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. down they run again here's Montgomery and nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line he'll get back only to the line of scrimmage so after the run for no gain here's second and ten toss left to Montgomery they get six that'll leave them with third and four he was hoping to get to the edge but he did a really nice job of forcing him back inside that's excellent fundamental defensive football don't let them outside where they can really shred you now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off by Sidney jones and his guys are going to take over at the 39 yard line and brandon this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figure it out okay where is he going with the football because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. After the interception, here's Smith. Dumps that off to Penny, is running back. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Let's go now. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Rashad Penny, 26 yards. And the Seahawks take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive, four plays. And it's finished off by a Rashad Penny touchdown run.
Jason Myers is going to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Fields. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Throwing on third down, Fields eluding the pressure right. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. And you can just see that whole play developing. That's where, as a defender, you just lock in on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body, and he was able to get in there and make a great play. And according to Next Gen stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six.
Fresh off the pick six, it's Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Now in his fourth year, you still have to marvel at the type of athlete that DK Metcalf is. Honestly, unfair to ask some corners to lock this guy down. And as we know, not many can. 75 catches, a career high, 12 touchdowns last season, and a first down with that catch there. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A shotgun snap for Smith. Pressure, and he's taken down. Bears sack. Sack of the game. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Sack at second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now Gino. Deep ball for Goodwin. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play there for Seattle. 52 yards. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And how about how he improvised right there because he got flushed out of the pocket, locked eyes with his wide receiver, who knew to just keep running. And he was able to lay that one out there for him to run under. Yeah, the next-gen stats showing that at an even 57 yards through the air. Back to throw, Smith. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second and goal, and Penny standing by himself in the backfield. Here's Smith. defenders get to it. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Now Smith on third and goal. Completes it to Fant on the right side. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. What a hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a ch And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Geno Smith taking it in from seven yards away. And the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The defense was almost too good on that play. They took away all of his targets. The one thing they forgot to account for him as a runner, and he's able to tuck it and go for the end zone and get it done. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So this drive spans seven plays, and in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over.
first and ten at their own 25 yard line. Fields now to throw. Flush to his right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something will wrong with that one. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. But that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And this is going to be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we got a football game going. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. Shoves him away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. To throw on second and ten. Smith. Looking sideline incomplete. I know we spent a lot of time talking about how the defense backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. Seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Toes inbounds. From the 44, Smith. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back up in the front, the front up in the back. The pressure got home on that last one. And he'll go down. Get there for the sack. Tyler Gordon coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. From his goal line here, Fields completes a Mooney on the slam. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Slam routes are effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. On second down, there's the option going left. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Field 
Woods to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. He'll take it at the 42. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Seahawks have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. On first down, Smith. He'll get this out wide to Penny. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle. Held it to an okay game. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now Gino on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. The Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, Smith. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. Cardi came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. But on that play, they had to pull it up. Myers kick is good and they will move up by 10 now 17 to 7 so a good snap good hold and right down the middle never in doubt just the way you used to hit a partner you mean like uh, kicking the ball exactly well that was a nice one doesn't matter <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them they go through Myers now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away from the 10 and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And it won't count for six. He's brought down, but inside the five, first and goal at the four-yard line. Defense gets on the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Following the fumble recovery, Smith. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Chicago offense set to get started. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Back to the airfields on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Let's take it on the 25. After 117-7 to score on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. As they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception. On and for the third time here, this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jim Jackson. And the Bears are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten. At their own 46. Now Herbert to start the drive. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to the ground. This time Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. side taken in by Kamek and he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves but this is a nice throw here on third down and they keep the drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Running left, Montgomery to the 36-yard line. Stop there. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Fields. Pass incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. This offense so far on third down, it's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and seven. And this will be caught by Mooney. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 15-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And that's a fun one to watch right there. Nice in-breaking round and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, 
Can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. This is caught. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears are back within a score. Obviously, Brandon, they couldn't get it all back with just one score. But that touchdown chips into the lead. And now it makes the comeback a little bit more manageable. Now the point after try for Santos. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And finishing it all off was Darnell Moody with a touchdown reception. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped into the 23-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. On second down, here's Penny. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, it's Penny. And he's got Rome. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Penny on the toss right. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They'll toss it to Penny. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing on third down, Smith. Leaves it for Penny. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Throwing now is Geno. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. as he gets the sack. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. 
They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Smith to the right side, incomplete to Metcalf. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now Myers for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Daryl Taylor got in there to drop him. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Fields, he hits Mooney going across the middle. And he'll be corralled well up field right around the 40-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. First and ten, it's Herbert. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. And they run the option on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is taken at the 15. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40 yard punt, 10 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of what they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Here we go, here we go. On the draw, this is Penny. And some room to roam now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 96 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think is going to be a pass. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now they get to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Off of play action, here's Smith. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And the lead will hold at 10. And anytime you see a kicker trot out the trial for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have the chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. The Chicago offense set to get started. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Fields on first down. Finds Komet on the quick slam. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll go option on second down, right side. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The Bears on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. Write that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that one could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Fields. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. Down the numbers. There he goes. Past the 20. 10. 5. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And 
this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. The extra point now coming from Myers. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. Ochenna Nuosu. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Here's Fields. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Taken from just outside the 30. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Now the stiff arm created some space initially, but he's taken down not long after. Only able to gain a couple there. Now third down and six to go. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And now a high kick, trying to pin him back. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And the Bears take over. Are the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. 
And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Fields throw here into the hands of Jones. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first and ten, here's Fields. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On first down, Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And that will close the gap down to 14. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Two still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Seahawks in that first half. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Geno Smith getting ready to go again here on offense. And it was somewhat of a strange first half. He threw three interceptions, yet you look at the scoreboard, they've got the lead. So you know what I think he did at the half? He stood up in front of the team, especially in front of the defense, and said, thank you. Appreciate what you've done. You guys have picked me up in a big way. And guess what? I'm going to get back to being who I am, which is pretty darn good. Let's go play the second half. They'll fake it. Now Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. 
Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Play action, it's Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And now we've got a third and four. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and he tackled him for a loss. the handoff. Now Smith. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive, I think they just crossed it on that one. On first down, it's Fields. Left side, got Jones. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Fields. Eluding the pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up four. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. No, Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. Santos' kick is up and through, and then we'll get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but a starting field position like that, three is not what you're making on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. This will be fielded inside the five. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. It's a loss of four on the first down play. The first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Sticking with Walker on second down. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. But again, off the field on third down, excellent 
job with excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime, but the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Fields. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Did you see that around the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, he came off of that guy, the deep guy. He came underneath on the drag. He did it very well. the loss, second and 12. But these guys going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Read option. Here's Montgomery. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Out of the gun, Fields. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. From the 28, it's second and five. Now it's Penny running right. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Smith leaves it for Penny. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20 yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. We agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Field's going to hold on to it. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Back to throw, Fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Puna Ford, the one to get to him and drop him. The Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Now there's the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. it to Fant on the right side. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch it, turn that field, and pick up the first down. To throw again on second down, Smith. 
finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Smith. Returning right back to Lockett. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field and just like that they can be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Smith now to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon, Charles. Three interceptions. It's rare that we see three interceptions by one team, let alone by an individual. And I think that after the second one, he's probably telling his teammates, any ball that's in the air, it's going to be mine. And that turned out to be true. The Chicago offense set to get started. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. They'll be going for six. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, could look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Field's going to take this himself. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. One yard second down. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw his fields. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he fields it cleanly. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Working with a second and three. Throwing now is Geno. And now here is another interception. Kyler Gordon picks it off. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches
pitches. They sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. You know, it cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where he didn't need the full time to make the selection. He got that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Handoff for Herbert, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. Here's second and nine. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Being chased out left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired, but he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now Fields. Complete. The other day they told us when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Now, you know I don't often have sympathy for quarterbacks, but in this situation, I don't know what else he could do. Fourth down, so he can't just throw the ball away. He's got to find a way to try and make a play, but the pressure ended up getting to him. Pressure got to him. Really big sack and a turnover here on downs. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. And they'll get him down here at the 23. He can only get a yard after all that. It's second down. across the 30-yard line. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll try the right side here with Penny. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 110 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. A handoff to Penny. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a comeback land on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And a loss of three to bring up for him. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now here's 
Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Flush to his right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Daryl Taylor able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Here's Fields. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And take it right at the 35. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Here's a give to Penny. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Penny, a first down carry. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And they'll run it again with Penny. Shoves him aside. 137 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have on front. Say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. They'll try the air now with Smith. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter.
Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability this index. Is this game's this definitely point. not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team is playing, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Tyler Lockett touchdown. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From the 10. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. We'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his net a rest. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A shotgun snap, Fields. Buying time to his left. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Fields now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks will have solid field position here as they take over at the 35-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. After the interception, here's Smith. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Smith, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. He was tackled at the 46-yard line. A gain of four. 
to throw on second and six. Fields. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Throwing on third down. Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Seahawk territory now. It's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little bit further down inside the 40. To the air again, Fields. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Tariq Woolen picks it, and the Seahawks are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Here we go, From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hurry, hurry! Gino down a throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Now Gino. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. And a fair catch called for and taken right on the midfield stripe. Well, pretty woeful there. Just 23 yards on the punt. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Right at the 50-yard line. From the 50, here's Fields. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. From the 45 on second down, Fields. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now it's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Touchdown, Chicago! John L. Mooney, his second touchdown of the afternoon. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets a back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Scoring salary. Three play drive. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. With that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. 
here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts and throw this opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. On second down, here's Penny. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here with Penny. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now it's Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Seahawk football as we march on, toward a conclusion. On. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now Smith. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Let's Gotta go, imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Steps away to his left. And he finds pit. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. The football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to bring out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he can't get a throw. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Smith going to throw it. And incomplete on the deep ball. Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now it's Smith. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. He'll look to throw. He's got his big tight end fan. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Smith now to throw. And that's going to be caught downfield by Fan. It's a big play there for Seattle. And even 40 yards. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. It's first. 
first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage could officially salt this one away. Smith. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And whistles and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign and it did that. I mean, for both sides, visit it and with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them.